Hi, this is Randy Nordell, and this is episode 10 of the SimNet Instructor videos. This episode is on copying a SimNet course. Now, there's a few instances where you would copy a SimNet course. So if you were, if you finished setting up your course, you added in your Sim books and your projects and exams, maybe some resources, you got all your settings all set, you're ready to copy your course over. You might copy it if you have a, a another section of that course you're teaching this semester. You might copy it over to a colleague who is teaching a section of the course that you want to share your SimNet course with. Um, another instance might be where you're going from semester to semester. So you finished the fall semester, you're copying your course or SimNet courses over to the spring semester. So those are all instances where you might copy a course. Now, um, as far as the dates go, if it, do you do this before or after you add the dates? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Um, we talked about in uh, putting the dates in using the organizer, doing it by individual assignments um, in, in that tutorial video in the bulk edit video talked about how to bulk edit dates uh, for assignments. So depending on the situation, you can copy the course over before you add the dates into all of your assignments or wait and do it after. So let me show you how to copy a course over. So if you go to courses, if you have your course starred, you can click on the copy to class button. If you don't have your course starred, you can click on view all to display all the courses and then click the actions menu and choose copy to course. I'm going to go to courses and and do it from the starred courses. So I'm going to click on copy to class of the course we've been doing here. And I'm going to do this as setting it up as I'm copying it to another instructor. So I want to get rid of the copy of here and do that. It's my SimNet demo course. I'll get rid of the copy of for the section title. And I'm actually going to change the name to uh, a colleague and I'll copy it over to her. I'm going to leave all the settings the same in here, but know that for scheduling, if you're copying the course over from one semester to another semester, you can adjust the dates. You could do it um, in a bulk enable schedule by dates. So kind of in a bulk area and, and do it similar to how we did a bulk edit um, in the in the last tutorial video. And notice you can select filtered by assignment types here as well. Or you can adjust by a number of days. So two different ways to adjust the date. So if I deselect this checkbox and select the shift by a number of dates, we can do that and put that in there. For this course, I'm not going to replace the dates at all. So I'm just going to deselect this checkbox because I'm just copying this course over to a colleague for this for this semester. All I have to do now, I, I renamed it. Remember to think about naming convention. Uh, click next and that course is copied over. Notice here, though, for instructors, the, this is the default tab that comes up when you copy your course over. Notice that I'm still in here as an instructor. I can go add instructors in here, and I'm going to go down and add Rachel, add her as an instructor. And then what I could do is, if I want, remove myself from there. Then this course doesn't display in my course list. So I could, I could go through and do that and click on remove, and that would remove me from the course. But that is it. That's copying a course. You'll find this really useful. You'll find you'll use this quite often, again, either for copying the course into this into another section the same semester or going from semester to semester. I hope this I hope this uh, tutorial video was helpful. Have a great day.